What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Driveway where pretty much everything happens in the driveway. Uh, today, I'm gonna be wrapping a little piece on my car, same color as my whole wrap of my car. I was gonna be doing something else, but unfortunately today in Melbourne is a very cold, miserable, wet day. It's been raining on and off consistently all day. So I'm not even gonna attempt the other stuff that I actually have to do to my car. Um, have been wanting to do this for a long time. I wanna wrap this the same color as the actual car. So first thing I have to do is remove this piece. It's pretty easy, just double-sided tape on the corners and I think there might be some in the middle. So I can pop that off and I'll show you guys what I do to um, wrap and I'll show you the equipment that I actually use. If you actually are a wrapper, a vinyl wrapper, not a wrapper of course, you might not use the same techniques as me, you might not use the same equipment as me. This is just my preference, what I've learned. And end of the day, no one has taught me how to wrap. I've done it all by myself. Um, I've watched plenty of YouTube videos. I do like watching YouTube videos, so yes, I do watch them. Well, we'll show you what it looks like on the car now. So that's how it looks on the car. Now, it sort of sits up on a bit of an angle. It's nice. If you actually do want this product, it is HIC rear roof or rear window spoiler, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, just double sided taped on here. It's off. And now I can clean my window that hasn't been cleaned in so long up there. All right, so I got my piece off. That's right, I'm choosing to wrap. I don't want to wrap the whole thing. I just want to wrap the, the actual piece that faces the sun. I don't want to wrap underneath it. Um, that's just my choice. But I'll go through the actual tools and equipment that I use. I've got a heat gun with a digital temp gauge on there, um, but we don't use that too much. Some scissors to actually cut the vinyl wrap. I've got two choices of Stanley knives, um, both with brand new blades. I don't use old blades. I pretty much only use it for so many cuts and throw it in the bin. Tape measure to measure out whatever I want to wrap and to obviously cut the wrap over there. Um, some squeegees. Um, one side has a felt, one side is not. This is 3M product. Um, I've replaced these numerous amount of times. Um, these ones are actually brand new. Um, but instead of going to buy, like these are these are like $3 each. So instead of buying them for $3 each, just go to your like craft store and um, just get some felt that's not gonna damage the uh, wrap and you can use that. Um, I got some thinners, you can use, you can use thinners or you can use Prepsol or any or alcohol, um, anything like that. That's just to clean and get rid of the dust. I got some of these like lint-free towel stuff, and I got some, and I've got some glass cleaner, and um, a pen and a texter, and obviously the choice of wrap. This is Avery's Emerald Green, a uh, few. So that's actually what's on my whole car, as you can see, same color. I'll go ahead and I'll measure how much I need for that section there, and then we'll cut it out of this piece and I'll show you what you need to do. When you're wrapping anything in general, make sure you're oversized. Don't go oversized massive because you don't want to waste too much material, but make it oversized. Don't, don't go tight, don't be stingy. The wrap is fairly cheap compared to the wrap is fairly cheap, so don't be stingy, don't be a tight ass about it. So we'll measure that out and we'll find out how much we have to cut. So 120 centimeters by 20 centimeters should be plenty. And before I forget, so this is my table that I like to work on. Usually I work out on the stainless bench out there because it's stainless and it um no fibers or anything can be like picked up off the actual table that you can use. This is just a Lucabon, it's got a clear plastic protection over it. So it's a smooth product and not much debris will um, get stuck underneath. But guys, you really need to remember that any foreign material, so even, so as small as a dust particle, if it is on the product that you're wrapping or if it is on the back of the wrap, it's going to show through. So it's not gonna be like paint, it's not gonna be perfect. And you gotta remember, like, guys, look where I'm doing it. I'm doing this in the garage. I'm doing this project driveway style. In the driveway, if it does get a bit windy, 
Um, I can shut the garage. I've got the side window shut, so there shouldn't be too much wind. But you want to have wind and like your wind and dust, any particles, anything like that. You pretty much want the cleanest place you can work. I just choose to work in the garage because I've got everything that I want, and I'm happy to not be 100% perfect. But you'll see the outcome, and hopefully, it's as close as it can be to be perfect. But yeah, you got to remember that, guys. Like the dust in the air, as soon as it lands on the product itself or when you're working with it and it's on the back of the wrap, it will show up 100% and it will stand out. So that's where like a professional comes in and you know, they do it in an environment where there are no dust particles, like it's a clean workshop, they got fans going, they got filters in the fans and stuff like that. Where, you know, if you're doing it project driveway style, the outcome is whatever the outcome is. It's not always going to be perfect, but we can minimize it by taking a couple of precautions. It's like paint, it's all about preparation. But then in saying that, when you are mucking around with wrap, it is a sticker. If you have put a little sticker on before, sometimes that's just tedious and hard. This is tenfold. So don't go buy, a sh don't go buy heaps of wrap and be like, yeah, I'm going to wrap my car and my friend's going to help me because it might not all turn out. Start small and then slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger, but also do hard pieces. So tight curves and stuff like that. Watch plenty of YouTube videos, try and find as much information as you can before you start a big project like how I wrap my car. So this product does stretch a fair bit, but don't abuse it. The more you stretch, the more uh, the color will fade and you'll even get like crow's feet in it if you go too much, but that's also a big play if you um, put too much heat into it. So that's where the heat gun with the temperature setting really pays for itself. As I said, it's all about prep. So I'm gonna wipe down my table. I'm gonna wipe down the material that I've just cut. Um, just check with the people you buy it off and find out what products you can and you cannot use on your wrap before you go and just grab anything from the hardware store. This stuff is, this stuff gets paint off, so it's pretty strong. Um, you can use glass cleaner, you can use a million different other products, but yeah, make sure from the person you actually buy the wrap off that you can um, that you can use a, that product on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the table, the product, and wipe down this. And also while I'm wiping it down, I'm gonna get rid of this double-sided tape uh, because I'm gonna come around this back edge here. So I'm gonna get rid of this double-sided tape here, here, and there. The foam is going to stay, so right here I'm going to have to cut it really close to the, um, the actual foam. I'll wipe down all them three things and then we'll get to work. We, I got my window spoiler, I got my wrap, and my table's clean, my hands clean, everything's ready to go. First, I want to peel the backing off my wrap. When you're peeling the backing off the wrap, sometimes it's easier to do the other way around. Peel the wrap off the backing. So when I'm trying to go like that, it doesn't really want to come. But then when you go, see what I mean? When you go like that, it just wants to come off. So this is where a friend would come in real handy. Unfortunately, Blake's still at work. Blake's actually just messaged me. He, he's gonna come past. Oh no, no! Guys, guys, you just fell over. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Bam, you guys just took a tumble. He took a dive. So Blake's on his way down. He's just finished work now. He's had a big day, so he's not gonna stay for long. Um, I'm just gonna try and do this by myself just to prove that it can be done by one person and a person that hasn't been trained at all. So I've got my piece. I want... Oh no! You literally just fell on my vinyl. I'm so like semi pissed off right now. All right, so unfortunately because the camera has fallen twice now, I've got my vinyl stuck together. So I'm gonna slowly work this and do my best to um, revive it. All right, I've saved it. I've got a couple creases, but I can get them out with the heat gun. Let's try that again. I've just got a little bit of stuff on here. I just want to clean it again. As I said, preparation's everything, so I'm just going to go over it one more time. Try and get off all them particles before I put that on. As soon as I put that on, there's less likely or less chance that I'm going to get more particles on there. 
So I'm just giving that a quick wipe down. I've got my piece. So I'm just having a look from underneath that I'm going to get enough coverage to fold underneath. You won't be able to do this with all the parts of your car or whatever product you're actually wrapping. Some parts you might not be able to get off, so this is where it makes it easier when there's two people. And it is a little bit harder not having someone to hold the product for you or having like a stand or a jig, but you can make it work. It is a little, little bit more difficult, but you can make it work. So if I turn that around, you guys can see how much lap overlap I actually have on it. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to lock it in with my finger. Now this tool. Some people say if you use your hand, you're still an amateur. Well, I'm still an amateur, but you know what? I found out using my hand actually works a lot better than this squeegee. Only because this squeegee, with the felt that is actually supplied from 3M, it actually does put light scratches in my wrap, and that really annoys me a lot, having a brand new wrap, and you're working with it, and you have to work with it a lot, just applying it, and it just doesn't turn out good due to scratches from this vinyl thing. So I will be using my hands a lot on this compared to um, other people. They do use this, but um, it does it does help a lot. When you are apply when you are sticking the vinyl down, um, it's a bit hard for me to explain. Uh, but you don't want to just go straight. I've locked it in here. As you can see, there's no bubbles in there. When I'm working it, I'm pushing this way, I'm pushing away from me in this case, but um, I'm only pushing down five to 10 mil. Yes, I'm only pushing five to 10 mil of the actual vinyl down. So it's probably maybe the thickness of my finger, maybe half of that in some cases. Um, I'm not pushing the whole thing. I'm just working bit by bit by bit. I find it easier working it with my hand to be honest. So. I'm just going to quickly work this on as quick as I can without having any bubbles, creases, defects like that. This part I haven't worked in, this section here is applied. Um, as you can see, I'm only working 5 to 10 mil at a time. I've got a wrinkle here and I'll show you how to get that out. What up Blake? It's open. Just open the gate. I oh, know, I pinned it. Sorry, bro. Blake's here. Blake's here. He's tired. He's had a hard day from beating panels. So if you broke the trampoline again. Again? Again. I caught her red handed. It's a lot of the fan. It's doing, cuz. It's doing! You know what? I don't know what I've just said, but I think I've accidentally not turned the camera on. So we'll find out when I start editing this. I've actually. I've done all this side here. I had one crease here, I've got it up the heat gun. If I come across another crease, which I can see one here, I'll show you it now just in case I didn't get it on camera. Um, so right there, you can see a crease. I'll get that out with the heat gun, just in case um, I didn't have it on camera before. I'll get it again, because I think I didn't have it on. This side's all done. I've got the outline of the actual piece. I'm just gonna lift this section up here. I'm gonna pull it tight. So I just need to lock it into the table down on this side. I'm gonna stretch over on this side. I'm gonna lock it in on there. So now I'm going back the other way. As I said before, I could be using the squeegee to do this. It is a lot easier, but um, I don't have the correct felt that I use, which doesn't damage my um, my wrap but it is turning out alright with just using my hands as long as your hands are nice and clean it'll be okay I'm gonna turn the heat gun on now and I'm gonna do my best to get this guy out I'll try and show you guys as I'm doing it a bit hard with one hand here's where the crease is right here so I'm just gonna heat up the area 
and I'll try and make it lose its memory of that crease. So as you can see, it's slowly disappearing. Heat up around it as well. Looks like we have a crease further up as well, a slight one. And now we just wipe it down and that's it. So that crease is, that crease is gone. Um, I'm going to finish off this other side and then I'll show you how to tuck it. So I got the wrap on the outside, it's come up pretty good. I can only see one or two small pieces of dust that have actually got caught under the wrap while I'm applying it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to heat up this whole entire piece. Any air bubbles that are trapped that I haven't picked up, which are very small, they will blow up and then I'll be able to push them out. It'll make the air expand and then it will actually lift the wrap up so you actually see bubbles come up um, hopefully there are none but i'm pretty sure there will be so i'll heat this whole entire piece up up to about 80 degrees and then any air bubbles i'll push them all out because as soon as i wrap it from the outside it once i go around this edge here it's going to seal it so by sealing it it's going to keep any air bubbles in there so eventually as soon as my car does get hot out in the sun those bubbles will come up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. It all depends on what edge you're doing to start off with, obviously. Uh, but today, I think I will do the most difficult edge first, but in case I stuff it up, I can start again. So that's this inside edge. You can see this back edge comes here and then cuts in and then comes back around. So that's the edge I'm gonna work on first. I'm gonna work from the center and I'm gonna work out. I always work from the center out because I can always push the material and stretch it out that way. If I was to work the other way around from one side to the other side, um, that would work also, but then I might end up pulling this back off. But if I'm working from here, I can pull down and I can work it all the way out instead of going the other way around where if I push it all in, in the middle it might be all bunched up and it probably won't look so good. So this is where I actually do use the heat gun, uh, where other times I don't. So this is to lose the memory in the wrap. So I'm just gonna heat it up, heat this edge up a little bit. It does make it a lot pliable, so it does make it a lot easier to use. So I'm just gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna pull, put a bit of pressure, and then lock it in. I'm gonna work all the way around it. So this is where I've started here. I'm just gonna heat it and pull down a little bit. And see now I have a nice solid edge. So now I'm up to the first corner. And I'm just going to pull it down and pull it under. Now it does make it a lot easier. As you can see, in between this point and this point, it is very tight. So you can do a relief cut, which will drop the it will drop the tension of in between here. Um, you don't always have to, but for my case, I will have to because this will go, this piece will go under and get tucked behind and it will only be a thin piece and then I'll cut around that edge. So I'm going to do a relief cut through here. So that's my relief cut.
Alright guys, I'm back. The camera is finally sort of half charged. Um, I ended up finishing it. You reckon? It's pretty good. So, oh, I'm stuck in the camera. So, it's lifting a little bit there because there's foam under it. But the rest of it, I'll try and lay it down and show you guys. So as you can see, that's the edge on the backhand side. It goes all the way around. These corners, they're very tricky. I couldn't really work out a way to get it spot on. Um, so I've actually added an extra piece as like sticky tape, um, which you won't be able to see, just to hold down that edge because it was a very tricky corner, but uh, I am happy with the outcome. I'm just going over the whole wrap now, um, just to make sure the adhesive has stuck 100%. Um, I'll go over the edges and it's I, there's a special word actually of what you're doing. Um, but yeah, it just makes sure that the wrap actually stays on. So I'm just going over the whole thing at 180 degrees. Um, if there's any air bubbles that come up, I'll push them down again or I'll work them out to the edges. And I'll make sure I do the edges a couple times just to make sure it's on because when I do pressure wash my car, I don't want this coming off. I don't really want to be redoing this time and time again. So we'll try and do it right the first time and we won't have any problems, so yeah. That's the whole piece, done. It's cold, it's wet. Johnny's here. What's up, Johnny? Hola. All right, so I couldn't put my roof spoiler on the other day because it's been raining for like the last four days. It's finally the weekend. It's probably not the best day to put it on. It looks like it's going to rain again. But um, we've got Johnny, he's going to give me a hand. We've already double-sided taped it on there. Um, so we're going to put that on right now, quickly. What do you reckon, John? Does it look much better? Yeah, it's much better. Much better color coded? Yeah. So you can see old vinyl wrap, brand new vinyl wrap. Slowly gonna do that. Um, so that's the end of this video for another day. And John got new tail lights and he put them on because he was too quick. Whoa. You need like a you need that little race light here. Yeah. Does it come with one? Yeah. Oh, you're in the flow. What's that, Bayswater? They probably can't hear from you because it's so freaking windy. Driveway. There, the Gets. Yeah, the gets that's, daily that's every... What talking about? That's turbo, people. That's turbo. 1.6 turbs. That Gets daily every day. Yeah,